The Demographic and Health Surveys, DHSs, are free public data sets, though you must register with Measure DHS and submit a request before access to DHS data is granted. This data request system ensures that all users understand and agree to basic data usage ethics standards. You agree that no effort will be made to identify any households or individuals sampled, and you will not pass along the data to others without consent of the DHS. To request access to DHS data, you must describe how you plan to use the data. Separate permissions are needed to access standard DHS survey data, HIV-AIDS data, and geographic data. The latter two are considered extra-sensitive information because GPS coordinates, even though they are offset, could possibly be used to uniquely identify a household, and people with HIV-AIDS experience extreme stigma in many communities. New DHS data users should register at MeasureDHS.com on the new user registration form. You can get to this page from the MeasureDHS.com homepage by selecting Login, then follow the link to Register for Dataset Access. Existing users of the MeasureDHS.com website can log in by clicking Login from the home page. Only registered users of the MeasureDHS.com website can request access to datasets. To identify which datasets you would like to access, I recommend selecting Download Datasets from the Data tab, and then using the Ctrl plus F key to search by country. The MeasureDHS.com website provides options to filter datasets by survey type, year, or data characteristic, but you have to select a dataset, any dataset, to see the survey search options on the left. Once you have identified which surveys you would like to access, log in following the instructions above and follow these steps to request access to a survey. Your login will bring you to a page called My Dataset Account. Next, select Create a New Project. A request should be submitted for each research project by providing a title and a brief description about how you will use the DHS data. Here are three simple templates you can follow depending on the data sets that you would like to request. If you are requesting survey recode files only, you could type something like, I am a graduate student at the University of Rwanda. I would like to use DHS data from Rwanda to explore the following research question. Which sociodemographic factors are associated with intimate partner violence in Rwanda? If you would like to request access to survey recode files and GPS coordinates, type something like, I am a graduate student at the University of Rwanda. I would like to use DHS data from Rwanda to explore the following research question. What is the effect of a community-based intervention in one and a half districts of Southeast Rwanda on child acute respiratory infection? If you would like to access survey recode files and HIV test results, type something like, I am a graduate student at the University of Rwanda, evaluating a multi-year HIV community health worker intervention. I would like to use DHS data from Rwanda, including HIV test results, to explore the following research question. What is the effect of an HIV community health worker intervention in two districts on adult HIV prevalence? These examples reflect the kinds of questions asked in program impact evaluation, though feel free to describe your research topic in a different way. Select all countries and datasets that you wish to access to answer your research question. Your description of the study should provide justification for each dataset requested. Separate teams at the Measure DHS project grant permission for the main recode files, GPS coordinates, and HIV test results. Each permission is usually granted or someone will follow up for more information within one to two business days. If you are unfamiliar with the recode file abbreviations that I am using, for example, IR or MR, please watch the lecture describing what is the DHS. Once the Measure DHS project has granted you permission to access certain data sets, you can download them directly from the MeasureDHS.com website. To do so, log in, then select the relevant study title from the drop-down menu under Download Datasets and select the Go button. The next page lists all data sets that you are authorized to download for that study. Choose a country and click the View Surveys button. If multiple MIS, AIS, or DHS surveys have been conducted in that country, they will be listed in a table. By clicking any of the Yes hyperlinks, you will be brought to a list of recode files that are downloadable. Each recode file is available in multiple formats. You need only download the Stata Systems file for this course. Note that in this example of the 2006 Mali DHS, 
I have access to the standard survey recode files and GPS coordinates, but not HIV test results. To gain access to HIV test results, I would have to modify my existing request or create a new study request providing a rationale for how I will use Molly DHS HIV test results in my research. Go to PopulationSurveyAnalysis.com for a PDF version of this video and other learning materials that support your analysis of a population survey data set. <laughs>